first of all, Tolly and Kate's friendship seemed so unbreakable and I think fans are just gonna love them. But in the finale, we see that they're not even speaking. What do you think happened that caused this rift between them? We need a season two. <laughs> we get a season two. Because it ends on that cliffhanger. I know. <laughs> I mean, what could be so big that they literally aren't even speaking anymore? I know, because you see them go through so much and some big stuff and they get through it. So it's gotta be something big. Kathy, I, what do you think it was? I know, it can't be. It cannot be that Tully sleeps with Johnny after they're married. It can't be that. Because I don't think any friendship does come back from that. And oh, this is so tough. Yeah. Because if you read the book, you know, the book, it's in the book what happens. Um, so I feel like I'm giving it away, but not giving it away. I don't know what to do. But anyway, I'm just gonna tell you what I think. So it can't be that because no friendship would ever come back from that. And right. it has to come Their friendship. They have to at some point get through this, whatever it is in the book with Kate and Mara and their relationship. And obviously, mm -hmm. Kate is an incredible mother and and takes that role really seriously and takes her relationship with her daughter really seriously. So Tully's interference in this huge way is it for her. It's up in the air right now. So I don't know what it'll be, what it'll actually be, but I will fight tooth and nail that it not be that Tully sleeps with Johnny because that would just, that would make How me How do you come back from that? Yeah. <laughs> it's time. We see Johnny, he's gone off to cover the war, and then I think we see him in some sort of explosion. What are we meant to think? Is Johnny okay? Well, I think you're meant to wonder if he's okay. And then um, I think that all things going well, then I think that we're gonna see him more of him and hopefully not just in flashback. There's a lot, lot, a lot unresolved between uh, Kate and Johnny as well. So, you know, we gotta, we gotta get, get him home safe. So he's alive. I hope so. I'm not <laughs> writing it. I'm not writing the thing, but I hope so. I hope so too. Um, yeah. You mentioned, obviously there is a lot to figure out between Kate and Johnny. Also in the finale, we see her go to Tolly and she proclaims her love for him still. Do you think that there's hope for them? I have hope for them. I think, you know, I don't know. I don't know where what Johnny is without Kate. You know, like he, she sort of has given meaning to his to his life. Where where the previously, the, you know, he just would have probably drifted through life as this kind of rolling stone and a, a, um, you know lone wolf. So um, I think that he needs her, and uh, I I would like to see him kind of grow up. I think he still has some growing up to do, and and get you know, get this thing out of his system and um, and really find a deep happiness with, I would like to see him find, you know, real happiness with, with his family and with his wife. Is there hope for Tolly and Max? Or is that kind of just done? I hope so. He's such, oh God, John is such an incredible actor and he was so beautiful in that role. So I'm really hoping. <laughs> the first guy Tolly's been really in love with you know, for years since Chad, she's got, you know, he can't go away. Oh, I, when I'm watching it, I'm just like, as we went, we got to see some stuff and I'm just rooting for them so much. They're so good together. And um, yeah, I hope so. I think also what I loved about this show is the way that you guys handled totally sexual harassment experience. And in that final episode, we see her literally walk away from her show because of this network head that has had such an impact on her life. Where do you see that storyline going? I mean, Kate was her producer, was going to be the producer. So there's a there's a big cliffhanger with all that. My my dream of next season would be that the two of them um, team up and create their their like a new show for Tully that that uh, Kate produces, and that there's like this great sort of more authentic version of Tully because Kate is helping her do something even more powerful and more meaningful. Yeah, I think that, you know, for for Kate, she goes through the journey of realizing, oh, I it's not my dream. I want to have kids and get married. And then through that experience, misses that side of herself and is really bright and, and a great writer. 
and mm. is doing that and then kind of tries to get back in the game and starts really at the bottom and has this really awful boss and this kind of very negative first experience. So I think, um, like Catherine said, you know, when you, when they actually, if you get Kate and Tully together, then they'll both be able to thrive and kind of put their best foot forward. It'd be cool to see what they would, what they would create together. Ali, there's a very hard scene in this show involving Tully in high school, and I thought it was pretty heartbreaking to watch. Um, and in a way, that specific scene, the rape scene, carries on into Tully's adulthood. Why were those stories, I guess, important to tell, in your opinion? I think that um, one of the main things about um, this specific scene in, in our show is that Tully is perceived as you know, the popular girl and, and she has everything together. Even if you, you know, are the popular girl, you know, things can still happen. And that I think it's really important to show these storylines and talk about issues like this a lot more in our TVs and show people that, you know, you're not alone. Even if you don't feel comfortable talking to someone, you know, especially for Telly, one of the main things that helps get her through this is having Kate and having somebody to talk to and having somebody to confide in. So I think as important as it is to always say, you know, Talk to somebody, tell someone how you're feeling, ask for help if you need it. Three things that you would love to see in a possible season two. First of all, I'd love to see a season two. Secondly, I'd love to see Johnny um, healthy and well. And um, I'd like to see a harmonious family life, I think. But then um, yeah, it doesn't make good TV. I love all the stuff when, you know, when Johnny goes to the front lines of, of conflict and we go to go to war so you know i personally wouldn't mind seeing some more of that stuff i think that there's like so much fun stuff to come um if, if we do get a second season i think that this season um has dealt with you know just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to to their 70s teen shenanigans <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i agree i think that there's a lot of of you know as they get older too you know as they enter older grades and, you know, start experimenting with different things. I think that there's a lot of different stuff that can happen and we can dive so much deeper into it as you've been friends for longer and you kind of have more of a history together. I think Kate should have so like a super awkward boy encounter for sure. I think next season, Kate needs something to happen with boys. I think, yeah, just more trouble. I think we need to like go on more adventures and like do more crazy things together. Feel more cars. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Terrorize more men. 